Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1162nd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni, and of course, that would be me. Good evening, traders. This video is being filmed on Thursday. It is April 17, 2014. We are done trading for, of course, this week. We've got the holiday coming in, so we are done trading for this week. I got a few things on the board, so let's turn. What's on the board? This just in. Very, very interesting. I like traders. Listen to this. This, I think, we absolutely need to discuss. Something needs to be done about this. Look at the headline. Scary. Scary, it says. Jews in East Ukraine are ordered to register themselves? What? Is this sounding vaguely familiar to something horrible? Listen to this nonsense. This is really scary. According to a report in USA Today, Jews in eastern Ukraine have been ordered to register themselves. Register themselves. Why? Jews emerging from a synagogue said they were handed leaflets that ordered city Jews to provide a list of property they own, pay a registration fee, or else have their citizenship revoked or, or face deportation and have their assets confiscated. What? what? What century are we in right now? The leaflet begins like this. Dear Ukraine citizen of Jewish nationality, it states that all people of Jewish descent over 16 years old must report to the Commissioner for Nationalities in the Donsk Regional Administration Building and register. Little tip of advice from Uncle Oscar. When you get to that building, feel it with your hand. If it's hot, go the other way. This guy's a lunatic. We absolutely have to go over there and have a little discussion with him, don't you think? I think the UN, especially the UN, right? This is going on in Europe. And the US need to go have a little sit down mafia style with this guy and give him some alternatives because that's insanity. Did you, did you just hear what I read to you? That is insane. Now, I heard that there's some sort of a, some sort of a weird treaty that they came up with about who's getting out of what buildings and maybe the troops will back up a little bit, but that's got nothing to do with what I just read you. That is crazy. This we need to address. <laughs> I don't know where that's going, traders, but remember, if it's one of you that's being called and that building's warm, you better go the other way. All right, what's happening here in the markets? Omni has flipped from being double-sided, thank goodness, to full green Wednesday afternoon, allowing us to buy the lows on Thursday morning in the ES. Thank you, Lord, because the Lord knows we had a great Monday. We got tagged on Tuesday and Wednesday, but Thursday we came back with a little punch. It's nice to leave this thing with a one-two punch, don't you think? So we will come back after the holiday. Now, bonds have been respecting the analysis. Bonds are heading lower today. Bonds are doing exactly what they should be doing. You know, I've been showing you this chart in video after video. 10-year, uh, excuse me, the 30-year weekly bond chart with the 200 ball moving average and the fact that we're below it for 36 weeks. Well, that chart is working. The bonds are respecting the analysis, and that is giving a green omni on top of many other things, of course. Traders, we gave out targets, right? The beginning of last week and the week before, we gave out targets in the S&P and the NASDAQ. They were absolutely met those targets. They were nailed. Then we did secondary targets down lower in the ES at 1784. That never got hit, but the markets have turned and are starting to gain some legs. The Omni's gone green. But once again, the Omni actually were able to buy the lows today. Boy, we needed that because I don't like calling bad trades. And here we are, Thursday, we're done trading. There'll be nothing else going on until we come back from the holiday. Remember, we've got Friday, markets are closed in the U.S. We've got Easter Sunday, we've got Easter Monday in Europe. So markets are closed for quite some time. Between Friday and Monday, they're going to be thin markets, so be careful out there. All right, so the Dow, the ES, the NASDAQ, the DAX, all of them look fantastic for the rest of the day on Thursday and probably going forward next week. Remember about the bond analysis, because I'm going to show that to you in a video right now. Traders, if nothing else, enjoy your time off. Go enjoy yourselves. We've got a few days off. This has been so difficult lately. This chops on near the highs in the S&P. Put in a new high, come off, run up, come off. 
very difficult training. I know a lot of you need, to, uh, need a couple of days off, like I do. So enjoy your time off. Happy holidays. Remember, smell the roses. Get out of town for a little while. All right, listen, I'm going to show you a couple of charts to get us in tune for what's coming next week. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, E-mini S&P, the M-A-C-D, very, very slow mover. When the M-A-C-D puts a hook in like this, it almost always lets you know you're going to start to go in the other direction, meaning up. More about the analysis on the E-mini S&P, the NASDAQ, the Dow, the DAX, the tranny at livewithoscar.com right after the weekend holiday. Make sure you meet me there. Then there's this. What's keeping the S&P in by the dip mode? This same bond chart I keep showing you, traders. I showed this chart to my traders in the chat room during the week. And on Wednesday, I said, look, we just hit right there. We got right to the top of that line. What should happen? We should come off. This is exactly what happened. We broke all the way to here. But I'm going to blow this up for you because I think you need to see what happened here. We hit that red line, same very, very same chart now. We hit the red line below the 200, smack, and dropped all the way to here. We are at the lows of this day. It's down over a handle in bonds. Well, that's no, that's no spill off by any means. It shows you that this is providing great resistance up here and that we will stay under the 200 bar moving average and go into week 37. Very interesting. So this is updated as of Thursday midday. Traders, then there is this, the 10-year notes. Very, very nice. Many traders were looking at this all week long and saying, oh my goodness, this is a bull flag above the 200 ball moving average. And they would have been right, no doubt, because that's what it looked like. But instead, it broke under the average, back down under the average, showing that bonds are weak and 10 years a week. That on a daily is a good sign for ES to go higher on Monday and bonds to continue to go lower. U.S. ES. U.S. bonds. ES is the ES, of course. That's what we'd expect just looking at that chart alone. Remember, come to LiveWithOscar.com, come to my free trading room, and I'll show you how to read these charts. So, traders, you've seen the charts. That's what we're looking for coming back after the holiday. Remember, enjoy your holiday. Go out, have some fun, play with the kids. It's Easter, it's Passover, it may not be, it may be, it may just be a day off. Just have fun and enjoy it. I'll see everybody at LiveWithOscar.com come Monday after the holiday. Always remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll. I'll see everybody after the holiday. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. 